Well, good morning, and uh, the first day of our final week back in Sunur. And um, we're coming down for another sunset. Hmm? Yeah. Well, there you are. That was a uh, sunrise this morning at Sanua. We've got a um, fairly busy day ahead of us today. Um, we're now going to head off and get some breakfast and then we're going back to Kuta to Eddie's to pick up a car and this afternoon um, we're going to spend some time with friends up on Kasamba Beach and they got a house up there um, where uh, Min, our friend, is cooking us lunch. Thai lunch. Thai lunch. Thai lunch, Thai dinner. I don't know, I'll, I'll get towed off for this because I always get it wrong. You know, for me, dinner's at dinner time. And, uh, <laughs> well, Mark's got it wrong because it is lunch. <laughs> Dinner's in the evening. Dinner's in the evening. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I, come, I come from a, a council house background and uh, for me, it was all a lot different. Um, and I always get accused of getting it wrong. So. Hey anyway, so um, that's the plans for the day. So we're just going to head off now towards um, somewhere to eat. Um, all the morning joggers are up. Uh, little power walkers and all the fitness freaks. As you can see, we join in. We're walking really quickly to the next bar evenings. <laughs> we're going to go back through Warren Gazebo, where this is where we're staying. Now, the prices ain't too bad actually. Um, they do a nasty garang for 25,000. That's not a bad price at all, is it? So here we are, back on the main street of Sanua. And literally just after sunrise. And it's starting to busy up already. Certainly wakes up a lot earlier than other places. Well, because we were up so early, there wasn't a lot of options for breakfast. So we decided to get a bluebird cap and head over to Kuta and have breakfast there. Well, we just stopped for breakfast in a sports bar um, just down from the coffee pot in Legion Street. And um, I've been bitten more times than I think I've been bitten on the entire holiday. Just in there, and um, the mozzies were everywhere in there. Carry on walking up through Legion Street. It's early in the morning, and um, certainly has a different vibe on it in the morning compared to later on in the day when you walk up when it's we're getting really busy and people are hassling you. It's a good way to have a look around and see what's about. Obviously, if you do want to do shopping, it's probably a bad time to come up here. So we're uh, walking down now to Garlic Lane. V's just a little bit ahead of me. We're um, picking up the car from Eddie's again. Now we found out Eddie's has um, been so good and reliable. Uh, he delivers a car to us. He picks the car up. They're not, you know, don't get me wrong. Um, they're not immaculate cars, um, but they're certainly um, roadworthy, you know, in a Bali situation. And because of that, you know, we're quite happy to use them. And um, any problems we've had, it's been sorted out. And um, so if you're looking for a cheap, you know, car rental, look for Eddie. 
I'll put its details down below. And look at that bike there. That, you know, sometimes you walk past things and really don't pay attention to you. Look again. They also need some tea cup. Right everybody, we're sat here just on the edge of Garlic Lane and I want to introduce you to John, Norman John, our latest yes, subscriber. Yes. Nice to meet you, I'll subscribe you for you, it's YouTuber. Yeah. Nice to meet you, i from Bali, nice to meet you again. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, cheers. <laughs> So the little car we had before is turned up and here we are. Eddie's tour, I'm gonna to just come in a bit so you can see. Just in case you wanna actually use him. He does cars and bikes. Uh, we found him to be really, really helpful. Um, no problems at all. Like everything in Bali, everything takes a little bit of time. It's not a big, expensive car, but it suits us just popping around and doing stuff. And um, really, really don't feel um, intimidated driving cars around in Bali. It's, it's quite easy, just go with the flow and you'll be fine. I think it's probably harder to ride a bike. Now all the modifications we did to it last time, I don't know if you remember, we <laughs> fixed the, um, the window with a bit of cardboard and uh, I can see it's still there. <laughs> so that's how much it's been used, not to worry. And I can see the footstep stickers there, that. So, uh, they're all still on there. We like to try and advertise the channel as much as possible. And of course, if any of you have not subscribed yet, please do, because we really, really appreciate it. And if anything we're doing is giving you like the slightest bit of help, a hint, or even a bit of amusement, give us a like, you know? And we appreciate it, and it really encourages us to carry on. Um, sometimes you just need a little bit of acknowledgement that you're doing stuff right. Uh, maybe we're doing it wrong, tell us that as well. Um, but we enjoy what we're doing and hopefully you're enjoying the ride as well. So uh, later on, uh, we're gonna get, carry on down to um, Garlic Lane in a minute. We wanna go back to Katuts and there's a bit, few bits and pieces of V once we get in there. Um, after that, um, we're gonna pick up our bags back from Suji and then um, that's our bigger bags that we brought over from the UK. Um, just so we could, we got 35 kilos um, luggage. So uh, oh, v, v needs money. There you are, V needs money. So the bank of Mark is coming over. <laughs> Thank you. 
just taken a little trip out and we've come to Keramas Beach. If you want to escape the ordinary and discover some of Bali magic, Karamas Beach is a hidden gem on Bali's eastern coast. Here the volcanic sand meets the endless blue. Well, sometimes um, you get caught out and you don't have a proper camera in your hand. But this is absolutely stunning. Obviously the sunset is not gonna be here, it's gonna be the other side of the island. But the colors are just divine. And look at those waves. For experienced surfers, Karamas Beach is an absolute haven. It's renowned for its barroom waves and a really challenging reef break. You can also embrace the simple pleasures, stroll along the vast black beach. Welcome to Keramas Beach, black sand beach, some nice cheap beers. Now we really hope you've enjoyed this short trip to Karamas Beach. And hope you'll join us in the next video. In the meantime, thanks for watching this video guys. See you soon, bye.